everyone, my name is Andrew Milliken, and this is Catholic Daily Readings. Please join me as I start with a prayer in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Lord, give us strength as we listen to your word today. Amen. First reading, a reading from the book of Jeremiah. In the beginning of the reign of Zedekiah, king of Judah, in the fifth month of the fourth year, the prophet Hananiah, son of Azur, from Gibeon, said to me in the house of the Lord, in the presence of the priests and all the people, Thus says the Lord of hosts, the God of Israel, I will break the yoke of the king of Babylon. Within two years I will d- restore to this place all the vessels of the temple of the Lord, which Nebuchadnezzar, king of Babylon, took away from this place to Babylon. And I will bring back to this place Jeconiah, son of Jehoiakim, Jehoiakim, king of Judah, and all the exiles of Judah who went to Babylon, says the Lord. For I will break the yoke of the king of Babylon. The prophet Jeremiah answered the prophet Hananiah in the presence of the priests and all the people assembled in the house of the Lord and said, Amen. May the Lord do what he fulfilled the things you have prophesied by bringing the vessels out of the house of the Lord, bringing the vessels of the house of the Lord, and all the exiles back from Babylon to this place. But now listen to what I am about to state in your hearing, and the hearing of all the people. From of old, the prophets who were before you and me prophesied, war, war, woe and pestilence against many lands and mighty kingdoms but the prophet who prophesies peace is recognized as truly sent by the lord only when his prophetic prediction is fulfilled therefore the prophet hananiah took the yoke from his neck of the prophet from the neck of the prophet jeremiah and broke it then said in the presence of all the people, thus says the Lord, Even so, with two years, I will break the yoke of Nebuchadnezzar, king of Babylon, from off the neck of all the nations. And at that, the prophet Jeremiah went away. Some time after the prophet Hananiah had broken the yoke from the neck of the prophet Jeremiah, the word of the Lord came to Jeremiah. Go tell Hananiah this, thus says the Lord, By breaking a wooden yoke, you forge an iron yoke. For thus says the Lord of hosts, the God of Israel, A yoke of iron I will place upon the necks of all those nations serving Nebuchadnezzar, king of Babylon, and they shall serve him, even the beasts of the field I give him. To the prophet Hananiah, the prophet Jeremiah said, Hear this, Hananiah, the Lord has not sent you, and you have raised false confidence in this people. For this, says the Lord, I will dispatch you from the face of the earth in this very year. You shall die, because you have preached rebellion against the Lord. That same year in the seventh month, Hananiah the prophet died. The Word of the Lord. Responsorial Psalm Please respond, Lord, teach me your statutes. Lord, teach me your statutes. Remove from me the way of falsehood and favor me with your law. Lord, teach me your statutes. Take not the word of truth from my mouth, for in your ordinances is my hope. Lord, teach me your statutes. Let those turn to me who fear you and acknowledge your decrees. Lord, teach me your statutes. Let my heart be perfect in your statutes, that I be not put to shame. Lord, teach me your statutes. 
Sinners wait to destroy me, but I pay heed to your decrees. Lord, teach me your statutes. From your ordinances I turn not away, for you have instructed me. Lord, teach me your statutes. Alleluia, alleluia. Rabbi, you are the Son of God, you are the King of Israel. Alleluia, alleluia. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Jesus made the disciples get into a boat and proceed him to the other side of the sea while he dismissed the crowds. After doing so, he went up to the mountain to, by himself to pray. When it was evening, he was there alone. Meanwhile, the boat, already a few miles offshore, was being tossed about by the waves, for the wind was against it. During the fourth watch of the night, he came toward them, walking on the sea. When the disciples saw him walking on the sea, they were terrified. It's a ghost, they said, and they cried out in fear. At once, Jesus said to them, Take courage, it is I. Do not be afraid. Jesus said to him in reply, Lord, if it is you, command me to come to you on the water. He said, Come. Jesus or Peter got out of the boat and began to walk on the water towards Jesus. But when he saw how strong the wind was, he became frightened, and beginning to sink, he cried out, Lord, save me. Immediately Jesus stretched out his hand and caught him, and said to him, O oh, you of little faith, why did you doubt? After they got into the boat, the wind died down. Those who were in the boat did him homage, saying, Truly, you are the Son of God. After making the crossing, they came to land at Genesaret. When the men of that place recognized him, they sent word to all of the surrounding country. People brought to him all those who were sick and begged him that they might touch only the tassel of his cloak. And as many as touched it were healed. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Wow, this is a beautiful miracle that many of us have heard about. Jesus walking on water. We hear about Peter's faith at first, but then how it is overcome by fear and his trust is lost. As a result, he begins to sink into the water. Is this how our faith is shaky? Do we have faith at first but are overcome by fear? Is it then that we lose our faith? Do we then start to sink below the waves? Here's where I get to the second point I'm going to make. This is when Jesus reaches out to you and catches you. Imagine, he was saying, come to me and do not doubt. Wouldn't that just be amazing to think that even if you are drifting away, Jesus will come and help you back to him. But we have to believe. Thank you for listening to my meditation for today. Please subscribe to my channel. I'm Andrew Milliken reminding you to live life in Christ together.